The ABTS and DPPH assays are widely used methods for the assessment of the antioxidant activity. They are both spectrophotometric techniques based on quenching of stable colored radicals. They show the radical scavenging ability of antioxidants even when present in complex biological mixtures. Fish protein hydrolysate solutions were capable of scavenging ABTS and DPPH in a concentration-dependent manner. Thus, IC50, the concentration of hydrolysate required for 50% inhibition may be easily calculated. In the ABTS radical scavenging assay, an electron transfer-based assay, the 2,2-azinobis-3-ethylbenzothiazoline-6-sulfonate radical cation, which has a dark blue color, is reduced by an antioxidant into colorless ABTS, which can be measured spectrophotometrically. For ABTS antioxidant activity the material needed is samples dissolved in water, Eppendorf tubes. Sodium phosphate buffer with 5 millimolar and pH 7.4, potassium persulfate solution 2.45 millimolar. And ABTS reagent. The first step in the procedure is the formation of the ABTS radical. For the radical formation, add 2.6 milliliters of potassium persulfate solution to 10 milligrams ABTS. Store the tube in the dark and let repose overnight. After at least 16 hours, the radical will be formed and the solution will be darkened. In next day, the solution is dissolved in sodium phosphate buffer to obtain a solution of ABTS radical. The absorbance measurement at wavelength of 734 nanometers must be adjusted 0.700. To Eppendorf tubes, measure 20 microliters of sample or water for blank and add 2 milliliters of ABTS solution. The samples must be tested in various concentration and in triplicates. Homogenize in the vortex. Next incubate for 6 minutes at 30 degrees Celsius in dark. After the incubation time read the samples at 734 nanometers in a spectrophotometer. The inhibition percentage of the radical is given for the equation shown in the slide. DPPH radical scavenging assay is based on reduction of this free radical by an antioxidant. This stable radical with an absorption maxima of 515 nanometers is converted into a colorless compound after reduction. This reaction can be monitored spectrophotometrically. For DPPH antioxidant activity, the material needed is samples dissolved in water. Some Eppendorf tubes and DPPH solution 0.1 millimolar in ethanol 95%. To Eppendorf tubes, measure 1 milliliter of DPPH solution in ethanol and add 1 milliliter of sample or water for blank. The samples must be tested in various concentration and in triplicates. Homogenize in the vortex. Next incubate for 1 hour at 24 degrees Celsius. During the incubation time the DPPH is reduced. And change is color from purple to yellow due to the radical capitation. After the incubation time, if the samples have particles in suspension, centrifuge for 10 minutes at 10,000 G. Read the samples at 517 nanometers in a spectrophotometer. The inhibition percentage of the radical is given for equation shown in the slide.
Seafood Age. Smart food choices, no matter how old you are.